Here we have BCD Harmonize iDRAG summary page inside of the Milestone Expertech Management Client under the MIP plugin section. This integration allows you to create and configure iDRAG entities inside a Milestone so you can view the health of your entire VMS environment from the smart client. Here we have the configuration page, which appears after you create your iDRAC entity. You can custom name each entity as you create them to make management easier. To get started, you simply put your Windows IP address, username and password, your iDRAC IP address, username and password, and then you'll hit the save button. After that, it will establish a secure connection to that physical server and show connected here next to status. Next, we have some telemetry thresholds that you can custom set depending on each server's preferences. So we have the CPU load, the temperature range, and the memory usage. Once you've adjusted those thresholds, all you'll have to do is hit save, and it will save those settings for you. To go along with these telemetry settings, we have some custom alarm definitions that can be set for each server. We have CPU load exceeded, CPU temperature exceeded, fan failure, hard drive errors, memory usage exceeded, network card failure, and power supply failure. And to look at this inside of the smart client, when we come over to alarm manager, you can create a custom map and associate it with that physical server to allow for a better proactive approach when an alarm fires in case you have large customers with servers spread out over a large geographical area. It helps uh, determine the location of that server. It will show you the source server and the message of which alarm is being fired to let you know what's going on with that particular server. Coming back over to the management client and the configuration page. We also have some action items. So we have the LED indicators which allows you to turn on the blue LED on the front of the server chassis to start blinking if you're trying to locate a particular server so that way you know you're working on the correct uh, physical server. We also have the restart server button, which allows you to reboot that physical server without having to RDP into it or physically go to it and do a hard reboot when it becomes unresponsive. Finally, we have the remote console feature. And this allows you to bring up an iDRAC session to that server and log in and make any configuration changes or check any settings inside of the iDRAC. With iDRAC Enterprise, you can also leverage the virtual console feature, which will bring up the Windows session to that physical box and allow you to log in all through the management client, giving you that single pane of glass management. If you do not need the virtual client, you can close this out and make any further changes inside of the iDRAC. Going over to the smart client, when we look at the live tab, we can look at our custom views and look at the iDRAC overview tree, which with all of your iDRAC entities created, they will all appear in this tree. And then you'll be able to look at the live telemetry data being pulled and look at things such as the CPU load, the memory load, the temperature tab will have CPUs, exhaust and inlet temperatures, and then the fan statuses. The storage tab will show all of the hard drives installed and whether or not they're in a predictive failure mode. We have the power supply status, and then we have the network status. With any of these tabs, if an issue does arise, as you see here, port number one is down, uh, a red LED will show up and let you know that there is a problem with that particular component. If you have any further questions or want to learn more, please reach out to your BCD representative. Thank you very much.